if you stocked up date palm a week ago when it was 1k now it's like triple that's what i mean like marketplace pvp so the real money in life skill comes from marketplace profit margin than money you make from cooking the cooking is a way to combine the items you get from the market and sell it all in a bulk right so you get all these materials when the time is right for example i'm giving an example date palm when when it was like one cage imagine you store like a few million date palm and then it all of a sudden now it's like 3k like it's like 300 percent profit right 200 to 300 percent profit so and then at this price if you cook it obviously uh date palm value is going to be a lot higher than what it used to be so when it used to sell it like you know uh let's say 5k now it's going to be like 7k or something or you know like this one for example when it was like you know when it was like selling 1.6 now it's 2.7 so that's how you make the profit so cooking is a way to combine the items and then sell it so you're not only going to make profit from cooking the items but you're also going to make profit from uh marketplace margin so your real profit is actually going to come from marketplace margin but if you are not going to pay attention to marketplace and if you just go blindly buy the materials at any price without even like you know considering then your profit from life skill is not going to be that significant so most people they are like okay i'm just gonna go cooking i get to 2k cooking and then i just go like randomly buy materials like they don't even pay attention the chart you know this chart they're like okay oh i need to make date pump so i'm just gonna go buy a million date pump from this max price like they are impatient they're like they just okay i'm just gonna buy this one they're not gonna wait for it to drop again so therefore if someone buys date pump from 3k each then the profit margin they make is like not gonna be significant they may still make like 100 million they may still make like 100 million profit per hour but if they bought it from like let's say one cage instead of 100 million maybe they were going to make now they were going to make like instead of 100 it's going to be like 300 or 400 maybe 500 depends on the recipe so if you guys been watching me last year or the year before when i was making challenge on the stream so we made when people were making like uh, 300 million from grinding per hour i was making 1.6 billion on average per hour from life skill and people were like russ how do you make 1.6 billion from uh from life skill when the cooking money per hour is around 200 to 300 million so at the time cooking money per hour was around 200 to 300 like around 2k cooking master right but most of my profit was coming from the marketplace buying the right materials at the right time so we played the game for 75 days straight and each week we played 15 hours on average and in 75 days we made 360 billion cash 360 billion cash in 75 days on averaging 1.6 billion per hour that's how you calculate your profit in life skill you got to calculate in a way that you know you can't calculate like how much money i made today or how much money i made this week you have to calculate uh in a way that you know like a three months period or four months period five months period you can't just say like okay i i made 10 billion today or i i made like because with life skill you might make 10 billion today and the next day maybe you make like minus 10 billion because you have to buy materials so the best way to calculate life skill is you play the game for like a few months and then in that a few months calculate how many hours you spend let's say you you play you play three months this game right and then on average how many hours did you did you play let's say you play 20 hours on average per week and you play this game for let's say 12 12 12 weeks right 12 weeks time on average 20 hours and then let's say in three months you played uh, 240 hours so in three months if you make let's say 600 billion right in three months you made 600 billion you can divide that to 240 and then you can see how much money you made per hour i'm just giving an example maybe you make like i don't know in three months you made maybe like 300 million or 400 million or maybe like a trillion who knows that's how you calculate when it comes to life skill and is it worth to mean max my worker empire us i was wondering if those specific skills for crates are worth the trouble maybe not at the moment maybe not at the moment it is it's a good thing if you already established trader but if you are a fresh account probably not worth too much because only people who make somewhat money who has you know already have the worker empire all those skills all the setup and they do somewhat money but it's not i don't know if it's the um it's worth the time because you need like 
a lot of processing and stuff right can you convert the land of morning light cooking utensil to repair tools yes you can but you can do it on a land of morning light if you go to noodle uh, noodle moodle all right there is a where is it center market so if you go to center market this old lady i think that was the lady this one converts them okay leave a leave a character here and then convert them to repair tools put in your storage and then you can grab with another character i don't know why we can't convert them in the you know heidel cooking stations or something but yeah this the this the lady is gonna convert them i mean it, it says on it as well see at the bottom it say uh moodle village old lady uh mayong and biot there's like two other npc you can turn it into repair tool i mean it, it just says on it anyway so so the na npc names are on the description so i'm gonna give one big tip for mainly pv and pvp players so if you are someone using the if you are someone using the furniture buff quite often uh you may be buying this uh thing called uh verdure dough which gives you plus 20 accuracy for three hours and if you have a look at the market price for this item that's maxed out at 400 million right and it's uh 34 pre-order so 34 people are waiting to buy this item but what they don't know is there is actually another item gives plus 20 accuracy for three hours exactly same st stats exactly same duration and it's a lot cheaper so if they bought a boar head which is this one it's same plus 20 accuracy for three hours exactly same item different name and it's sitting on the market for 300 million so those 35 people can actually save 100 million every time they need a the furniture i don't know why they don't know this maybe they don't research enough so hopefully this will help those people to buy this instead of that and save to like 100 million each time they need this furniture so please share this with uh, people in your guilds that likes to save money on furniture and they can save 100 million each time it's exactly the same hour three hours plus 20 and it has 10 durability and this is only you know sitting on the market 300 million and if we have a look at the door as i showed before exactly same item 10 durability plus 20 accuracy for three hours so if you are a grinder or pvp player make sure you consider buying the other items so they are exactly the same item don't feel scared that you know assume that you know this is a better item than the other one no it's just people just ordering this at max price because they don't know so hopefully this will help uh those people to save 100 million on their furniture 185k i'm buying it for on eu is there any cheaper ap equivalent to shadow lion i mean you can definitely look um i don't know if it will be cheaper i think there's a tiger one um what was the tiger head this is max price as well but then the tiger head is uh, it's 400 million uh, because tiger is a rare item and it's very hard to make this one because you need like hides and hides is like the supreme hides is like hard to get as well because it's a rare monster so a line has probably uh the way to go but this one is also max price so if you have a look at the heads so a thunder paw head is gives you 150 hp for two hours the reason like people are so obsessed with items that gives hp you might think like it's only hp why people need it you know why would you get this over like plus 15 ap that's because when they do like capped pvp like sieges and stuff this comes in handy you know i believe in nod wars and sieges it capped the ap dp accuracy and evasion but it doesn't cap the hp so you can cap those stats with your gear and then you can still use the furniture buffs to buff up your hp i think that's my opinion that's probably why they are using or obsessed with hp stats